Uh. <laughs> Take your time, man. Welcome to the first episode of the Nerdington Post. Yet another podcast talking about nerd shit that's hosted by uh, millennial males. So, are we millennials? Yeah, I think technically. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. we're sorry in advance. Yeah, but we're, you know, cool guys. We, uh, we're we down with analingus, like millennial males are. Um, yeah, but the big news, the big news that is unavoidable this week, the return of Scott Pilgrim, baby! That's right, Scott Pilgrim's yeah. back! Thank Coming you, back Ubisoft. to digital storefronts. But no, seriously, super psyched. One of my favorite, uh, besides going beating up, beat em ups, but the big gaming news, Xbox Series X and Series S have prices and release dates. Finally. Finally. Only two months beforehand. I can't believe it took them this long to fucking do that. And cheaper than what everyone expected. Maybe. I actually lost a bet to, uh, we didn't introduce ourselves. He's Will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Walter. Uh, and I lost a bet to Will. He did. Because we had a bet going, um, if it's 600 or over, he's got to buy me a game. If it's under 600, I buy him a game and... It was under six hundred. It is four ninety nine ninety nine US dollars MSRP. The Series X, which is wild. It's so wild that it was four ninety nine. They are Could for sure it. taking a loss on that, but again, their whole st- Microsoft's whole strategy has been selling Game Pass. Exactly. Which, they don't care if you play on Xbox Series X, S, Z, fucking X Cloud. Yeah. As long as you're playing their ecosystem, they don't care how you yeah. do it. I mean, they're gonna take. Like a hundred dollar loss on yep. the software, on Easy. the hardware, possibly, and then what? Yeah, but then if you keep getting Game Pass, exactly like for fifteen dollars yeah. for a whole year, that's over one hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah, they made that. They're back. making it back. Yeah, exactly. And uh, yeah, but uh, do you have the specs for the series? I do. Yes. Yeah. Just pull those up. Series you said S. Series S. Yeah. Because we've known about the Series X specs for a while, but yeah. it's very impressive for yeah, the sent those to Series you. S being two ninety nine MSRP. Yeah, so it's got the same CPU as the Series the Series X. Uh, ten gigs of uh, VRAM, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's got it's got a slightly less powerful GPU, but that's a given. Yeah, four teraflops, custom seven millimeter enhanced SoC. Targeting uh, 1440p gaming at 60 FPS and up to 120 FPS. Which, which is, is a win. It's fantastic. It's a great price point for, you know, the for gamers, for everybody. Yeah. It's a great price point. Good play. It's a Microsoft. great way to, for Xbox to get people who weren't interested in their ecosystem interested in it. And they don't have to spend $600 yeah. on a console. The problem is... What are you playing? <laughs> I mean, they have a lot yeah. of games coming there's, out. There's there's great third party games coming out. Well, they also have a there's, bunch of like ho- uh, first party horror games coming. The Medium Scorn. That's not first party. Those aren't first party. <laughs> They're not first party. Fine. They have exclusive games they coming to exclu- Xbox Series they have console, and PC. console launch exclusives. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, personally, like. Give zero fucks. Because, exactly. Yeah, exactly. as a as a PC guy, Nvidia just completely stole the lunch money of both console manufacturers with their Ampere graphics cards. It yeah. even has me considering building my yeah. first ever PC, and I've never thought about that ever. It's before. power, <laughs> the power <laughs> of PC gaming. Anyway, besides the power, did my yeah. best awesome powers or power. Doctor Evil. Power. Um, that's not what we're talking about today, even though we probably should have included, like, talking about the That's last week's news. Yeah. We're, this is this week, baby. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So, yeah. Say, yeah. Xbox Series S and X is announced. pre order starts September 22nd. I'm going to get one just to get one. That way we can maybe do a review about it. Series X or S? L X. Easy. Right on. X going to give it to you. X going to give it to you. Have those memes hit yet? I don't follow Reddit or... They did when, um... Was it Mr. X was in the Resident Evil 2 remake? Yeah. That's, that's such a like, great that's game. That's old news, bro. I know, I got it. That's just, old news, bro. You're just asking about the memes. I'm just making yeah. sure you know. I don't know memes, bro. What's a meme? <laughs> yeah, we're millennials. We don't meme. know that. I got memories. 
Are there memory memes out there? Of course there are. All right. I think you got our next piece. No, of do you want to keep talking about Xbox? Is that that's huge, man? Yeah, that's I mean price point. The ball, they they played a a great game. Ball is now in Sony's court. Let's we'll see if they could. You know what? And it's it's it really home. funny. They announced the price and release date on the twenty fifth anniversary of the PlayStation One. <laughs> so if you're a Sony pony, let me just say we don't really care about console wars. Yeah. We don't give a shit. If you're Xbox, PlayStation, PC, we don't care. Because we do it all. Yeah. Except, Except Switch. Is, I yeah. Switch. I really haven't played my Switch in a while. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I just think, like, I'm surprised that Sony didn't at least do, like, a hint of an announcement. Yeah. On the 25th anniversary of PlayStation 1. Now, they got... I think if they come in at the same price point as the... Because people don't... The mass market, they don't care about raw horsepower, which Xbox Series X is more powerful than the PS5, but if the PS5 comes out at the same price point, it's going to be, you know, a little bit worse, but I don't think most people will notice. They re- if they have Miles Morales at launch, which is weird because at Gamescom, they showed Ratchet and Clank gameplay. Exactly. <laughs> when that's launch window, that's not... When supposedly Miles Morales is going to be the launch title, we still haven't seen any gameplay of it. Which, I don't think we need to, because... I mean, if you played the first we, we one... We played Spider-Man. Out. Yeah, if you played we, Spider-Man, you don't really need to know what's going to happen. We know how it's going to look and play, so we don't really need to see, like, a 10-minute gameplay thing. Exactly. Like we saw of Halo Infinite. But... Oh, Halo Infinite. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. It's old news. It's old news. We're not talking about old news. Um... But yeah, but that's one thing that they really haven't shown is like, okay, we know about Ratchet and Clank. Yeah. We know there is a Spider-Man Miles Morales yeah. game. We know about the Demon Souls reboot? Remake? Remake. Remake. Yeah. Which may be launch window. Yeah, you showed me that. There was um, Yeah, there was a supposedly, I think Amazon Australia or something posted box art. And mm-hmm. they didn't indicate any date though, but, but if that box art is in their system as even just like placeholder that might mean it's coming out sooner rather than later which exactly i hope so yeah but i just i i think i personally think that either sony knows what they're doing or right now they're just trying to try they're trying to figure out how to play catch up uh, but it's might, sony they might botch it <laughs> they botched the ps3 launch yeah they botched they, it. Got, oh, they botched it hard yeah they Ooh. they got cocky after the ps2 yes but. they did well, when you have the best-selling console of all time, yeah. you know. And then, again, with the runaway success of the PS4, yeah. they might botch it again. <laughs> well, Xbox needs a win. Xbox yeah. really needs a win. They'll win long-term. Oh, they no, absolutely sure. they will. They have the ecosystem in place to One win long-term. next gen PS5 is going to sell more units, but Microsoft, and with their Xbox division, they're going to have way more profitability. Yeah. Them. Just the way they're investing in software, which is Microsoft's bread and butter with, you know, Windows. They know software, Office. They they know what they're doing yeah. with selling you something. Exactly. Software-wise. Hardware, they, they don't care. As long as you're using their software, you've got that subscription running every year. They got you. And it seems like they're starting to do the right thing with games. Obviously, yeah. we got the Fable uh, reboot. But everyone knew about that. It's, yeah. Also, a CG trail that tells you absolutely nothing. Nothing about exactly. It just yeah. kind of sets the tone. Yeah. Like I, I didn't care much for their uh, last press conference where they're showing first party games because they were all pretty much CG trailers. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But hey, we got twenty twenty one to look forward to. Yes. Like even for, I'm upgrading my PC when uh, with a thirty eighty, and then with. I'm getting a PS5. That's going to be my console for the exclusives. But yeah, it's not. <laughs> if it's just Miles Morales, that's out. Yo, yeah. Hell no. Yeah, because I was looking at it, I was like, there's really nothing that I want to no, play at is, launch. Cause... This is maybe like the limpest console launch maybe. ever. Yeah. At least with it's... at least with Xbox, you get Game Pass, and you for $15 a month, you get your backwards compatibility with some of their, like, uh, timed exclusive that are launching, yeah. like, the medium. And I like horror games, so, like, I'm on board for the yeah. medium. For sure, third-party titles are going to carry this console. Oh, launch. absolutely. Uh, Cold War, Black, o- Black Ops Cold War, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Such a long title. 
I know. Just call it Cold War. Just call it Cold War. <laughs> yeah. Cold War. Call, call of Duty Cold War. Looks great. Uh, multiplayer trailer released this week. Uh, from the reports I've been reading from articles that from like outlets that I trust, they're saying it's a step back from Modern Warfare, which, you know, I, I might just stick with playing Modern Warfare. Yeah, because they've got the uh, formula Warzone. they have for Modern Warfare right now is working really good. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. Just, uh,. You know, check out the internet. <laughs> Google multiplayer Black Ops Cold War previews. Check out the links that we're yeah. going to post down below. If that's how that works. I don't know. Links. I don't know. It's my first no, time we gotta, doing this. We're going to Instagram them, Adam. Or uh, a TikTok. We're going to TikTok those, uh, preview, those articles to you. We're not doing that. No, I don't know. I wasted but so how will time. we capture the kids? The kids are all on the TikTok. It's video games. Oh. Video games capture kids. No. Who do you think's yelling at you on Modern Warfare on multiplayer? It's some eight-year-old in his parents' house, like asking his mom to go make him like Tostino's no pizza rolls. It's, it's like thirty-year-old dudes like us who are just like, God damn it! <laughs> oh. <laughs> God. I mean, not anymore. Yeah. But uh, like moving on to the out. next big news, huge. News. Oh wait, Big. we also forgot to say Big. that EA Play is also going to be with Game Pass, so you get oh, all your too. EA games. Yeah. So not only do you get EA games, you get Microsoft exclusives and yeah, all that. Yeah, that's a big get. I yeah. Because uh, I don't like buying. It's going to be Battlefields in that package. The old Mass Effect games, you know, FIFA's, uh, which are huge. We don't care. <laughs> Madden. He's excited about I, football I used to care. Back, but, I'm yeah. excited about football coming back, but Madden, it's no. the same fucking game every single year. Until EA does something extravagant, I don't give a shit about Ultimate Madden. team, baby. <sighs> no, it's so stupid. Dude, it makes them like... Don't say ultimate. <laughs> ultimate team makes them like 60% of that company's profit, man. I know. It's so stupid. Yeah, but people keep buying it. Because we don't. It's just a roster dollars. update. It's we just a roster update. Dollars. Yeah, but you get like. It's like sh- ten minutes to do that in game. Yeah, but then you could get like a shiny version of Mesut Ozil that boosts your team up. I don't know. No. All right. No. Next biggest news. Huge news. He's on thing. Gigantic small. news. Uh, Konami filed a Zone of the Enders trademark in Japan and Europe, which has me excited. For I'll throw footage up there. It's a high speed action mech game. Uh, hack and slash uh the second game is one of my favorite games of all time the first game is hey you don't have to play that just skip to two you're gonna have a good time most notably zone of the enders one launched with the demo disc for metal gear solid 2 which is the main reason most people bought it but as a anime mecha nerd i bought it for zone of the enders so yeah What's this trademark going to be? It's Konami, so it's going to be shit. <laughs> it's going to be a it's going to be a mobile game. It's going to be or maybe a, a shitty pachinko machine. At best, we're getting an HD remake of the first game because for some reason they did an HD correction HD remake. <laughs> they had an Xbox and 360 uh, remasters. <laughs> For those PS2 titles, but then they released them this gen. And on Steam, which is... Thank you very much, Konami. Thank you very much. Best thing you did all decade. But yeah. it's I expect <laughs> nothing from this. <laughs> this is not really news. But even bigger news. For all you pervy weebs out there. One Chanbar Origin finally got a Western release date coming to PS4 and Steam on October 14th. I don't know what that is. Let's run the B-roll. Sexy bikini girls fighting zombies. What's not to like? What's not to like? Maybe I'll pick this up in a Steam sale. Because I like hack and slash games. Most of them are mindless garbage that I end oh, up yeah. not finishing. Yeah. Hopefully this doesn't suck. Well, how can you go wrong with half-naked... Girls fighting you can't. zombies. You can't. You cannot. I mean, well, you can play it and tell me about it then. Yeah, it's going to be uh, Nut City, USA. Oh, my God. But also... <laughs> Excuse me. In huge... Uh, other, huger other, news? <laughs> huger, huger nudes. Not in this game, unless you modded it. Um, 
Other nerd news, because the Nerdington Post. It's the Nerdington Post. It's not just the Gamington Post. Other nerd shit. Uh, what came out this week is a tie-in comic book for Cyberpunk 2077's uh, Trauma Team. It's a good read. The art is fantastic. Stop by your local comic book shop or, you know, digital, like any normal person these days. Or support your local shop. There's nothing wrong with supporting supporting your local local shop. shop. Especially now, during a pandemic. We encourage it. Yeah. Despite what I just said 30 seconds ago. Ignore what he said, like, 10 seconds ago. Support your local shop because they need it. Other uh, fantastic nerd news. The Dune trailer dropped, which uh, Denis Villeneuve... uh, I'm pretty sure that is 80% accurate. He did a better job than I would have. Uh, director of Sicario, Prisoners, Blade Runner 2049, Great Arrival. Movie. Fantastic director. He's handling the new Dune movies. And it looks awesome. Yeah. it's It looks good. We're just going to have this it, footage here. Yeah. Well, there's footage. Probably a big sandworm oh, in yeah. a Dune. Uh, the yeah. spice must flow. The spice must flow. And fear is the mind killer, and all that awesome stuff. I'm very excited. This movie looks great. I didn't hear. I've never heard of it until I saw the trailer. I was like, "Oh, what is this?" Yeah, well, and it's uh, awesome. Yeah, if you saw Tenet in theaters, um, they had a brief teaser for it, which looked, uh, which got my acorn wet. (laughs) And then this trailer, mm, even wetter. The worst part about this, I've. the utmost confidence in uh, this movie, in this director. <laughs> the worst part of this movie is probably going to be Jason Momoa. And that's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why do you think it's going to be Jason Momoa? Look, look at everybody <laughs> on the cast. Everybody is a phenomenal actor. He was a good Aquaman. And then you have Jason Momoa. <laughs> he was a good Aquaman. He's a... <laughs> I mean, that's not saying a lot because it's Aquaman, but... Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I... <laughs> Aquaman was a fun movie. I love Aquaman. Aquaman's a bad movie. It's not. (laughs) It's not good cinema, but I love it. It's such a stupid fun time. Okay, I'll agree with you there. It's it's Neptune ascending. Have you seen Jupiter ascending? No. That is a shit movie. Saw that. That's the one with Channing Tatum and Mila Kunis. Yeah. It's a garbage movie. I didn't Um, see it because I heard it was a garbage movie. They had a line so bad. My friend legit. Laughed for five minutes straight. <laughs> and the guy sitting in front of us got out of the theater. I don't know if it was because the movie was so bad or because my friend was laughing for five minutes straight. But What's the line? I don't remember. <laughs> but it's a fun movie. It's it's shit. But you're going to have a good time if you just like, I want to go see some spectacle. <laughs> some cool action scenes and fucking a creepy Eddie Redmayne. Go see <laughs> Jupiter Sending. And go see Aquaman. Fun movie. It. It's Fun a good movie. movie. If you have HBO Max, I think it's on HBO Max. Oh yeah, it's on HBO. All the DC movies. You can, so you can watch the Dumpster Fire, that's Justice League or Batman vs. Superman. Hey, we're getting four episodes of the Snyder Cut. I'm excited for the Snyder Cut. Yeah. Me too. I just... Uh... Asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. I'm not a fan of him. But I imagine it'll be a better movie you know i agree like i feel like he has good ideas when he starts working on movies but then they just get blown out of proportion no like the things i hated about justice league where the the joss whedon content sticks out like a sore thumb oh yeah absolutely it's like why are all these people super quippy all of a sudden (laughs) uh this clearly was just ben affleck alone lying in front of a green screen exactly like uh, yeah (laughs) like i'm gonna be be sore in the morning whatever that line is or like uh. (laughs) yeah oh yeah yeah (laughs) yeah after like after superman throws him after oh get the car yeah oh that was so stupid yeah just there's a ton of that shit. And then you have the whole Ray Fisher thing saying Josh Whedon is a fucking horrible person, which I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't care for Josh Whedon. Like his movies are the worst in the MCU. You know, like the Avengers? I don't the Avengers and Age of Ultron are the two worst movies. I'll fight anybody the fucking death on that one. So you think they're worse than Thor 2 Dark yeah. World? Thor 2 
had fun unnecessarily great acting when you have uh, the interactions. It's a family drama when you have like Rene it's Russo and Tom drama. Hiddleston, like, and you have uh, the two brothers dealing with their mother's death mm-hmm. in different ways, and it's it's beautiful. <laughs> it's I thought it was so slow. It has its problems for sure. <laughs> It's bottom tier, for sure. Oh, no, absolutely. But it's like uh, Black Manta in Aquaman. That actor brought his A-game Yeah, when he did not need to. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. That actor was better than that movie <laughs> deserved. And it's great that he, you know. But yeah, back to uh, other big news that just happened. The Ubisoft forward of... Dis- uh, September that aired September 10th, which is the day we're recording. We just watched that a couple hours ago. Yep. Let's break through. Break not break through. I mean, this podcast. Let's break down. Yeah, this podcast is a cultural breakthrough because <laughs> you know we're gonna reach more people than Catcher in the Rye. This podcast. <laughs> you ever read Catcher in the Rye? I think maybe in like high school. Yeah, I hated that book. I don't remember it. It's yeah. probably a good thing. Dude, Holden Caulfield is the biggest phony in that entire book. And everybody... Uh, no, this is an my favorite podcast. book was... Uh, my drama teacher gave me. It was like my sophomore year. Choke by Chuck Palahniuk. Oh, you're one of those guys. It's a, it's a good book. Mr. Uh, I'm a cool guy reading <laughs> Chuck... Mr. Chucky P. I've never... You know, Fight fun Club. fact about Chuck Palahniuk. I've never read Fight Club. Who reads Fight Club? I've only seen it once. <laughs> And that was like three years ago. It's a cool movie. <laughs> three years ago. Oh my god. I, I've owned it for like five years. Nah, man. The, the quality of that movie is so good. No, I agree. It's, a, a term, it's an eternal classic. I agree. Or a, you could say Immortal? Ubisoft. Finally. <laughs> finally. That's a good segue. Redebuted, uh, what used to be called Gods and Monsters, uh, now called Immortals: Phoenix Rising, which, again, it's it's an Ubisoft open world game. Yeah. What else do you need to say about it? I you, you know how it's gonna. I personally you know think it looks good. It looks interesting. It, it's like I told. You, I think it looks like Breath of the Wild, but with Greek mythology. Yeah, which it's a. A crossover of Breath and the Breath of the Wild and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah, which Odyssey I never beat that. It's too big. Yeah, it's a and huge also game. The, the leveling system pissed me off. Where Same. I just I have to grind in order to backstab people now. Yeah, like this, this blows. Yeah, me. it's not an Assassin's game. Just like oh, I'm gonna put in all this effort of sneaking in this building, <laughs> backstab a guy, and it does maybe a third of their health. Exactly. Like, cool. Yeah, it's dumb. You took the assassination out of Assassin's <laughs> Creed. Um, yeah, Phoenix Rising. I think it looks great. I'm I'm excited for. It. I'm more excited for that than I am Valhalla. Oh, yeah. I just I don't know, man. Well, like, which, which one are you gonna pick though? Because in a weird move, we have October 29th, Watch Dogs Legion. November 10th, they pushed this the release date up to match the release of the Xbox Series S and Series X. November 10th, why can't it, Va- Valhalla. Valhalla, V for Valhalla, <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and and then on December 10th, no, December 3rd, December 3rd, 3rd. 3rd. Yep, 3rd. Immortals Phoenix Rising, that's three Ubisoft open AAA worlds open world games coming out within 35 days of each other, I, that's either, I think that's a stupid move. Oh no, I agree, it's, it's just... I, I mean, maybe they're just trying to recoup losses yeah. from here, and they that, oh, the hope true. people will probably buy them because it's Ubisoft. Yeah. Especially uh, with uh, one of them being a completely new IP. Yeah, but remember the great EA released Battlefield, was it Battlefield 1 and Titanfall 2 a week away from each other, and they said... Yeah, it ple- appeals to different audiences because one's sci-fi, the other one's like a battlefield game. Which no, they're both first-person shooters, dumbass. <laughs> uh, yeah, and don't release it the week before. Yeah, Assassin's or uh, not Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Infinite Warfare. That's so having these, especially with 
Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed, those those franchises used to ping pong each other. Yeah. yeah. Watch Dogs one year, Assassin's Creed the next year, and then back and forth. But you have them weeks away from each other. Especially with Legion getting, I think it was the next gen upgrade on the 10th when yeah. the Series X and S launched. Yeah, and then it's... The way they design those games also, they're designed to have a gigantic tail and they yep. support Take it with time. a ton of post-launch yep. content. There's the, no yeah, way you're going to... They're gonna... overlapping. They're, yeah. they're splitting their audience. I don't know how... It's like games of games as service. Like They think everybody has enough time to split off into... like I'm going to play Fortnite and Warzone and, like I don't know, Smite or whatever. No, people... <laughs> have a limited amount of time they're going to devote their time to like one or two games and they expect I don't know what they're I don't know what they're doing yeah I know I agree because like you said like huge games especially Valhalla even though they said Valhalla scaled down from Odyssey but that's not saying much because Odyssey was a huge game gigantic it It was there was so much I don't even think I got halfway through that game who has the time no one does I'm pretty sure the people who develop the game don't even have time I suppose if people you know are still unemployed from COVID. They got the time, but no, but, but not, they don't. Not have, with not with games yeah. that big. Also, they don't have the money to get a next gen console and then three sixty dollars game. Three, yeah. Well, mate. Well, no, no. Ubis. Yeah, you're right. Sixty dollars because yeah. Ubisoft said they're not. Gonna, none of their cross gen exactly. games are going to be seven. Exactly. Maybe twenty twenty one. All they'll start busting the seventy dollars price point, but yeah. I think I think we'll see like a set uh, a raise once. Uh, yeah. companies start building those $70 games and yeah. worlds and everything. Oh, that's how they stiff you. Software sales. Yeah. Would you rather pay for a $700 console now, but games stayed at $60, or what's happening now, $500 console, $70 games? Honestly... Because extra 10 bucks a game adds up. Yeah, but... That's that's hard, man. Because Game Pass exists. Let's take that out of the equation. Because Game Pass okay. is obviously the yeah. Because that's a better deal. That's a huge deal. <sighs> that's a huge value. I mean, you are right. Seventy dollars games do add up over time. Ten dollars. Let's say you buy even ten games a year. That's a hundred extra bucks. So you're spending the extra two hundred dollars yeah. in two years. Yeah. So I guess I'd rather buy a seven hundred dollar console and game stays sixty bucks. But with like the power of new consoles and everything, game prices are going to go up. They have to because games are going to get bigger and more elaborate. That's what they tell you. But remember how much money they make off Ultimate Team, how much money they make That's right. off of like, oh, co- games cost more to make, so we need to increase the box price. Like, okay. But you're also adding an extra 50 to to $100 with post release content. And then you have games that are built to last forever, like Destiny. Yeah. Like, they what, release an expan- a $30 to $40 expansion yeah. once a year, once every two years? Which, every once in a while, I get the inkling to play that game again. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, if you get an Xbox Series X on Game Pass, you get Destiny 2 with all post-launch uh, content. I don't need that shit. <laughs> all I want is the new expansion where you have the... The, the Shadow Keep? Yeah. No, no, no. Um, the... Not shall keep up. Beyond Light. Yep. Where you get the new ice looking power. Stasis, they call it. That looks cool, man. It's probably better than Avengers. I will. Apparently, I just found out today Redbox isn't a thing anymore because I was planning on Redboxing and playing through the campaign. (laughs) But I will GameStop rental that where I will find a pre owned copy, (laughs) beat the campaign in a day or two, and then return it. Support your local shops. Yes. By renting from GameStop. Exactly. Remember when we worked at GameStop? <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, but, I, yeah, I'm a huge Marvel nerd, a, a huge Kate Bishop fan, so when that DLC launches, I'll definitely definitely check it out. But what about the Clint Barton DLC? I guess. Then I'll just rent it again when that <laughs> DLC comes out. And maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll buy it by then, because I'll like it enough. Maybe. Which, I, I prefer to get it on PC, but Spider-Man on PS4, baby. <laughs> and also, I can't return a PC copy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> GameStop Rentals, baby. Seven-day return policy. It's on... five now. Five? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just okay. with you. <laughs> Seven-day return policy on pre-owned games. Think about it, people. 
Uh, we didn't tell you that, though. We did, though, yeah. because it's recorded, obviously. So, yeah. All right. Back to Ubisoft. Forward. Because unlike the momentum of our discussion, <laughs> Ubisoft is moving forward. We Prince are. of Persia Sands of Time remake. Are you excited for this? Yes. Okay. Did you play the original back in the day? Yes. Okay. All right. I never played it back in the day. Um, I'm I played ex- it when I was like 10. See, I've always thought about picking it up in a sale. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it's on sale on GOG. Maybe I'll pick it up. But then I don't, I don't care enough. But th- this might be a fresh enough experience with this re-release, I might pick it up. Because you hear it's a classic game, it's legendary, makes like top 100 lists all the time mm-hmm. for like what it did at the time. And, and so. they modernized it, they said that they introduced like a new camera, like modernized the camera angle, the system, the yeah. fighting system, uh, what else? And obviously the graphics. Yeah. But I mean, I'll, depending on the price, like if it's like one of those remakes that are like 60, 70 bucks, they're like, ah. I'm not doing it. Yeah. If they charge $70 for that, hell no. <laughs> hell no. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you've played it yet, but Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 is like, it's 40 bucks. Yeah. It's awesome. No. I'm, I, it's awesome. Takes me back to like just kick flipping and beating the shit out of my yeah. brother and Tony Hawk. I'm, a, I'm not like a big nostalgia dick rider, so I might not check it out. Also, it's on, on PC. It's on the Epic Game Store, and I don't know. I don't, I'll get stuff on the Epic Game Store, but like <laughs> n- not if it's. I don't care enough to get it. <laughs> like I, that's fair though. I mean, you gotta have some kind of emotional investment if you're exactly. To I do have emotional on investment, it. but like I don't get it on sale. Uh, it was like ten, fifteen bucks. Like twenty years ago for me, man. I'm, I'm not the same person I was then. It's not gonna touch me in the same way. The same well, way I'm touching it. myself oh, right now. Oh, you know. Anyway. Yeah. Pinch of Persia, Sands of Time remake. We're excited. Looks promising. We might get it in a sale. We might, in a sale. Uh, yeah. Unless it's like 40 bucks, maybe I'll trade something into yeah. it. And then, uh, the next thing they announced in the new Soft Forward was Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, coming back to digital storefronts, um, coming to PS4, Xbox One, uh, Stadia, <laughs> the you play store and switch which is weird because they don't have a release date other than winter i, I don't know yeah they said winter they didn't say se- xbox series or ps5 which i don't know maybe it'll be backwards compatible it probably will be especially well, xbox if, it will be yeah especially if like the ps i imagine the ps5 because we already know for sure like the xbox is gonna have the same storefront so yeah. if the ps5 has the same psn interface like why wouldn't you be able yeah to exactly download it I think we'll also, um, I think I read on like Gam Sutra or something. Like Sony had a mandate, like games coming after July of this year had to. If your game's coming out on PS4 after July of this year, it had to be PS5 compatible. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know. Google it. Fact check me. That sounds right. I feel like yeah. that's. I feel like that's correct. But yeah, uh, Scott Pilgrim is one of my favorite beat 'em ups. Also, I'm a huge fan of the comics. Comics, uh, right? Yeah. The movie's good too. The movie's good. It's a fine movie. It's a good cinematic adaptation. <laughs> As a fan of the comics and the character relationships there, I prefer the comics. <laughs> I'll say that. Okay. There are there are narrative issues I have with it. Like <laughs> aside from being a adaptation of something I like. I, I I completely understand that they're changing things and whatnot. There are very core narrative problems. Like the entire act one of the movie sets up how Knives and Scott are a better couple and they should be together. <laughs> and then they even come together at the end to save Ramona. But then, like, I don't know. And then anyway, that's the whole thing. Check out so, the game. Check out the game. It's gonna. I'm be great. gonna check it out. I love that game, man. The I'm music's gonna play it fantastic. Kind of Monoguchi. Uh, I guess they finally untangled that web because it, it was delisted in 2014 just because uh, probably licenses expiring expiring because you have four different companies. There's like Oni Press who, you know, published the original Scott Pilgrim books, uh, Universal Studios, which is the movie, Ubisoft. I don't know if there was a separate license for the games, but for the, or for the game music, but I don't think there was. I don't know. Just 
a rat's nest of licenses <laughs> uh, cock blocking that game from being released. But yeah. I think I'm going to pick it up on Switch. Nice. Maybe PC. I, I don't. You play. I, I may or may not pirate it. I may or may not endorse piracy. <laughs> we don't endorse piracy. Are you going to pirate the game? If someone cracks it, which hopefully they do because it's a hot game. Exactly. But we don't endorse piracy here. No. Uh, next thing on the Ubisoft forward, uh, Rainbow Six Siege World Cup, which that's pretty awesome that this game has had a huge community and it's been going on years after release and they're still supporting it, doing yeah. the events, doing like releasing new content. The, Ubisoft's been doing a good job. Again, this is something we don't care about, but it's nope. cool. It's, it's awesome I, that you're backing your audience and doing cool shit like this. I don't think I've ever played Rainbow Six Siege. Ever. Neither have I. Uh, they released Sam Fisher. <sighs> yep. Another game. That's what, I think that's what made me mad about the game. The, the, the Ubisoft Ford was they, they were like, oh yeah, and this next thing is for fans. It's after they announced Prince yeah. of Persia. So it was like, oh, it's for fans. We're finally getting a fucking Splinter Cell remake. No, and we did it. We're not gonna. We did it. Come on, Ubisoft. Come on. Uh, we have we got two games in the past five years with uh, Sam. Sam Fisher. None of them are Splinter Cell. When did Blacklist come out? I love Blacklist, man. It's such a great game. Too long ago. So Double That's Agent what... was so good. Yeah. With. Um, oh. Just, just do it, Ubisoft. Like you have nothing to lose. Even if you reboot them or remaster them, whatever. You got the audience there. You know people are gonna fucking buy it. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, uh, I think the lead of Blacklist. He's working on Ub- or Watch Dogs Legion. I think. Okay. Clint Hawking. Fact check me on that. I, I don't remember. I'm not gonna Google it. Yeah. I'm talking to you right now, and it's rude to pull out your phone and look at shit and rub on it when you're talking to somebody. Because, audience, you're our friends, and we respect you. We respect the crap out of you. Unless you're a 99%er. We're rich 1%ers. I mean, we aren't rich 1%ers. We're, but, we know. don't respect the poor. Uh, we I do not support him. Andrew Yang. Who's that? He's a, he's a, he, ran for, uh, he ran for the Democratic ticket uh, to be president. A lot of people did. Yeah. He was the Asian one. <laughs> If that wasn't clear to you. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <sighs> he wanted to have, like, everybody gets $1,000 a week. That guy. I'd vote for that. Yeah. I'll take an extra 1000 bucks. Yeah, but... But it's not the possible. Think of the taxes. You can't anyway, just, you we're can't not just, talking about politics here. No. Well, let's talk economics. You can't just print out more <laughs> money. You're going to devalue everything, man. That's true. We're going to have to fucking Weimar Republic all over again. The what? Oh my god. <laughs> You're a white man. You should look into white history. <sighs> I don't really like white history. Weimar Republic, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was the government formed after World War I. Uh, their follies led to the rise of the National Socialistische Deutsche Arbeiter Party. The National German Socialist Workers Party. Okay. Uh, A.K.A. Hitler's crew. <laughs> you just uh, point at me and do no, Hitler's I crew? Hitler's, I <laughs> okay, I was like, Hitler's crew. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm yeah, not Hitler's no, no, crew. No. So yeah, don't just print more money. <laughs> That's a bad idea. Never yeah. do that. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Because you're, you're spending like a thousand francs for a loaf of bread. That's insane. Yeah, that's, that's too stupid. much for a fucking loaf of bread. Anyway. It, it costs nothing. It's, it's just like anyway. It's paper. Back uh, on topic. Well, well, they talk about Watch Dogs Legion. Um, Which is what I'm going to get over Assassin's Creed Valhalla. That's your pick. That's my pick. But you look like a Viking. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. No, gonna... I'm going with Legion just because the past... Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, Assassin's Creed Origins was a great, beautiful game. Odyssey was great for what it was, but I just I'm so yeah. burnt out on these long games where it's like, oh, well, that's gonna be Watch Dogs, man. Uh, but Watch Dogs is I, I think I'm gonna like it because it's it's more fun. Like there's gonna be a more of a fun aspect to it. It does have a lot of interesting systems going yeah. on with the uh, randomization of your recruits. You're finding uh, just and you using their specific abilities exactly. in different situations, different mission types. And, yeah, but that's going to be another huge Ubisoft game. I just because they announced the first bit of post-release content, which is... Aiden Pierce. 
Yeah. Which is still a thing. Remember those that, those fun characters from 2 that people actually liked? <laughs> yeah, no, nah, they're not there. It's nope. the boring character people didn't like. 2 was great, though. Didn't like from the first game. Aiden Pierce. Yeah, 2 was fun. Yeah. And 2 even had an Aiden Pierce mission in it. Does it? Yeah, it does. Nice, man. What's he up to? So, you, you uh, just you, oh, you have, he he gets he gets very angry he gets captured and you help free him oh, that's and then you get his outfit that's it it's like twenty minutes all maybe right. not even yeah this one you, they talk about how you have all speed of missions as Aiden Pierce uh, and I don't care <laughs> I don't care about it yeah Pierce. it's it's I'm, in the past man yeah I should have left him in the past I will maybe install Watch Dogs Legion because uh, I believe. The 30 series of graphics cards comes with a copy of Watch Dogs Legion, so... I think you're right. Free game, baby. But yeah, I'm going to do Legion, and then I'm going to do Immortals. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'll get Valhalla next year when it's on sale. Yeah, hopefully the, uh... I don't know, all the systems of hacking, stealth, all that's going to be fun for me. They said that they were going to bring back where you could just kind of, like... They are going to bring back more of that stealth aspect yeah. of Valhalla. So hopefully it's true, yeah, but hope, but yeah. I agree with what you said. Like just the whole leveling up, and then like you said, trying to sneak up on someone and try to kill them, but Wait, it doesn't we're kill Valhalla them. Valhalla or Legion? Valhalla. I thought you uh, said so Valhalla. I was talking, did I say Valhalla? Uh, Legion. Watch Dogs Legion. Did I say Valhalla? Because I was wrong. Legion. One of us said Valhalla, so we're talking about Legion. That's my bad. Legion, I probably said yeah. Valhalla at All some right. point. But yeah, the news is Aiden Pierce. Who cares? Yeah, no one gives a shit. <laughs> He's older and he has a beard. Yeah. Who cares? But uh, wait, we've got one more thing that Ubisoft had for this Ubisoft forward was <sighs> Steep 2. Steep 2, baby! Steep with bikes. Uh, and AKA dirt! Riders Republic. Um, I don't know. Let's roll some footage. Do you care? <laughs> I re- I I don't. I think I was. I don't, it's another Ubisoft it's multiplayer. It, well, it's supposed to be like, oh, you can multiplayer. You can game. fucking like use steep. your bike and it's steep too. Yeah, it's it's steep too with dirt and more vehicles. Yeah, Riders Republic. Um, I just. I think they dropped the ball yeah, at the end of their conference. I don't know. Well, or excuse me, their event. Just because. I don't know. Like, I feel like you could have made a better IP. Granted, I know what they're trying to do with um, what's it called, Rider Republic. Riders Republic. Like, Rider Republic. I get what they're trying to do with Rider Republic. Like, it's a cool multiplayer, extreme yeah. sport thing. If, but I don't think a game like that needs to be a triple A thing. No, it might be like uh, Siege, where it's not getting that. It's not getting that like Assassin's Creed money. Mm-hmm. But it's like something they're doing, and then if it takes off, it takes off, and they have and a they community. Can, like, they could just over time. yeah, just if they could keep Rider Republic going for a couple of years, like they've had with Rainbow Six, and there's a community there, they support the community. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool if, if, if it finds a fan base and they support it. But again, we're not going to be in that. So no, yeah. I don't know what to say. You get to spend that time uh, and effort on a, a new Prince of Persia, or yeah. you could have spent that time and effort on a new Splinter Cell. They're not going to make Splinter Cell, man. If they make Splinter Cell, it's going to be an open world multiplayer Splinter Cell. So you might as well just keep Watch Dog Legions. Yeah, which is... I mean, that's... <laughs> I don't know. I don't want that. I don't I don't want modern Ubisoft to make a Splinter Cell game. Because it's not going to no, be something I, I they're going to be happy with. I don't want that either. It's going to be single player with a ton of... With a, a bun of, bunch of grinding and leveling up. But you could pay for boosters. You know, like Assassin's Creed. Or it's going to be multiplayer with grinding. See, but that's what like, that's what kind of sucks uh, about Ghost the Recon. video game culture now. I don't say the culture, no. but like that's what sucks about companies. Like they're they're all trying to do this RPG style game. Like even the the Batman games that yeah. like, that got announced last month. Because it's that it's an easy psychological hook to keep people invested. Yeah. In. Just yeah, like I get you see, uh, you see your bars go up. Yeah. I get what games as a service, I get, like, the idea behind it to have, like, one game last ten years. Yeah. I get it. But I just miss the days of, like, just single-player Splinter Cell where I can go in, do stealth missions, or do whatever. I just miss that. Yeah. That age is gone. It sucks. Yeah. It sucks, America. And America kind of sucks right now. Yeah, we do. But the games this year... Maybe not. 
Maybe it's gonna be great. Maybe Ghost it's gonna of Tsushima's turn 20, great. Maybe it's gonna turn twenty twenty around. I think I think Cyberpunk's gonna be like the creme de la creme of games oh, in yeah. the year. I play that with ray tracing so hard. <laughs> oh, Same on so my bad. Xbox Series X. Yeah, not until twenty twenty one when the next gen patches come out. That's probably true, but I'm still gonna play it on my Xbox Series X. Yes. That's the big. That's that's our. That's the gaming news we have for you this week. The Nerdington Post. The Nerdington Post. Yeah. Uh, follow us on social media. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. Um, well, we have individual Twitters. I don't know if we have a Twitter. You should make a Twitter for the Nerdington Post. <sighs> that's okay. I'll do, do, it. It. do it. I'll do it. Do it. I'll do it. And then you know, subscribe to this channel, please. We're just a couple guys talking about video games and nerd shit. And we will never say, never, it, here's the Nerdington Post promise. We will never tell you to smash that notification button.